Hi, everyone. It's so nice to be back with you with yet another biblical prescription for life. Today, we're going to talk about an invisible deficiency. Deficiency many people have, and they don't even know about it. It's invisible. Can't see it. Some people don't even know they feel it. But before we do that, let's turn to the scriptures. And I want to share with you Romans 12, verses 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transforming by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So let's hold that with us as we talk about this invisible deficiency. Well, we all know what happens if we're deficient in water, deficient in exercise, get extra weight, deficient in rest, we get sleep deprived. We've heard about vitamin D3 deficiencies. We've heard about vitamin B deficiencies, especially in vegans. And then, of course, we can get too much of any good thing. You know, too much sun, you get a sunburn. Um, too much water, you have to drink a lot of water, but it can drive down your sodium. Too much exercise can wear out the bones. Too much food, of course, we know what that does. It gains weight. But today, we're going to talk about an invisible deficiency. And that invisible deficiency is magnesium magnesium. It's a mineral, an alkali earth mineral, atomic number 12. It's sort of a shiny gray color. It's reactive. And when it's burned, it gives off a white flame. So that's what the invisible deficiency is because our body needs magnesium. It's the fourth most prevalent mineral on earth, very popular. It's the eighth most abundant element on the Earth's crust. If you look at the sea, the oceans, it's the third most abundant in seawater, mineral beside, behind sodium and chloride, then comes magnesium. And it's the 11th most abundant mineral or substance in humans. So magnesium is important. It's the invisible deficiency. It's magnesium is in all the cells of the body. It's involved in 300 re chemical reactions. It has 3,700 binding sites in the body. It's important for energy because it involves ATP. It's, in, it's important in proteins because it's involved in RNA. Uh, magnesium helps regulate vitamin D. It helps regulate uh, calcium and other minerals in the body. And yet the standard diet in America gives us about one half of the magnesium that we need. So many people are walking around with some element of deficiency in magnesium. So how would you feel if you have a magnesium deficiency? Well, magnesium deficiencies might lead to headaches, muscle cramps. It might make your appetite go down. You might get nausea or vomiting if it's really bad, tingling feelings, weakness, um, and it affects all the bodies. For instance, the muscles, you might get cramps. It, it, magnesium deficiencies increase inflammation, so you might have more inflammation. Um, in the neurologic system, you might have headaches and migraines. Um, in the psychiatric world, um, depression, because magnesium affects serotonin production. Um, it might, magnesium deficiencies might lead to anxiety um, or irritability as it helps regulate neurotransmitters, especially a neurotransmitter called GABA or G-A-B-A. That helps us rest and sleep. It affects bones. It's in our bones. A decrease in, in, in magnesium increases the rate of fractures. It's involved in regulating high blood pressure. It's, a regulated, it's involved in regulating blood sugar. Um, and it can actually help your hair grow. Um, so it does many things. In the heart tissue, a magnesium deficiency can cause 
arrhythmias or dangerous heart rhythms. Here's a picture of an EKG with torsades. A deficiency of magnesium can trigger this. And if a magnesium deficiency happens and this happens, the heart can't pump blood, you, you, you lose blood pressure and you can go into cardiac arrest. So magnesium is very important to the body, an invisible deficiency. Now let's talk a little bit about why we might be deficient in magnesium. Processed foods um, have a lot of other things in them, including fats, which high fat diets decrease the absorption of magnesium. So not only do you eat it, but you don't absorb it if you eat high fat diets. GI diseases like Crohn's, celiac, irritable bowel, diarrhea, you can lose magnesium. Diabetes, when the blood sugar goes up, um, you can increase excretion from the kidneys if you're diabetic. In fact, it says that up to 32% of diabetics might be magnesium deficiency. Um, alcohol decreases magnesium level. Um, you don't take it in, you increase urinary output. People on diuretics, fluid pills, they lose magnesium, also potassium. That can do it. Proton pump inhibitors can cause us to lose magnesium. Um, you don't realize this, but if you drink carbonated beverages with phosphates in them, that kind of sodium binds magnesium and you can lose magnesium. Some people don't even eat a good diet with magnesium. So all of these factors can cause magnesium depletion in our bodies. We might not even know it until something bad happens. So I wanted to bring that up. Magnesium is a hidden invisible deficiency. Next time, I'm going to talk about different ways you can make sure you have magnesium in your diet. I'm going to talk about the foods you can do so you don't have this hidden deficiency. But one thing that I don't want us to be deficient in, and that is our ability. We want to not ever be deficient in worship. We want to come to God. And that's why we bring biblical prescriptions, prescriptions. So we acknowledge what is so, so important. And in our text today, we say, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So we don't want to be like this world. We don't want to have deficiencies in anything. We want to be like God wants us to be. And by worship, we can accomplish that. So next time, I'm going to talk about some foods with magnesium in them, how we can keep our magnesium levels up so we don't have a hidden deficiency. So stay with us. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, share it with your friends and neighbors. And I'm going to be back soon with yet another biblical prescription for life.